I think it's working. Yes, yes. They'll never expect it. <laughs> I oh no! Oh, oh no. fuck, no, it didn't work. It was working until it stopped. Oh boy, that sure was a fight that definitely happens against that bird, don't you know? Anyway, meet, meet me over by the Pierce Rock. I'm looking forward to having you make Pierce Clar in the fucking blobby suit. It's gotta have like a big dangly head, like one of those waving inflatable tube things. Yeah. Oh god, right, yeah, to the cat. It's just culture, oh god. You got a problem with Blobby's culture? I think I, I think I am part of Blobby's culture, he's from the UK. Oh shit, harpoon! <laughs> They're harpooning his boy! Oh no! Start that running. was the one thing. Serpentine. Oh fuck, I picked the golden seeds up though, so that's that. Oh, it's a big boy. Fuck yeah. You go left, I'll go right. Yeah. Oh no, he's after you. What did you do? What did you say to him? Uh, I just told him I think the homosexuals should declare war on the robots. Oh, that'll do it. They're real touchy about that. Uh, some political views are stranger than others. <laughs> Get out of here, robot. We know you voted for Boris Johnson. Don't shoot me with an arrow point blank. <laughs> Isn't that where the word golem comes from? The word what? Golem? Golem? I think it's a Jewish word, isn't it? Yeah, I swear isn't like another word for robot though, or like inanimate or something. Yeah, because they have the story about like a man made of clay. No, yeah, that's the golem. Yeah. L literally, all I all I can remember about the go about the golem is that you kill it by scratching away one of the words. Like it has a word inscribed on it, which is what powers it. It's like the Jewish word for life. But you scratch off you scratch off part of the words, and it becomes the letter for death. Yeah, so it's like E M E T, and then you scratch off the first E, and I think it's just M E T, and that's exactly what you said. Sounds about right. Yeah, and if I butchered that story terribly, direct your questions to Soup. <laughs> uh, you're playing Divisible. Uh, no, what's that? It's, um, you played Skullgirls. I'm aware of Skullgirls, it's yeah. An, it's an RPG that was made by the same people. Oh, that's, um, that's mm. not happy. It's an RPG made by the same people, and one of the enemies is the Golem, and it has the two Hebrew words on it, like... Depending on if you're fighting it or not. Okay. Oh, is that the one where, like, it's the chick and she's got, like, the ghosts in her head or something? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about now. Get out of here, stinky mans. I to level up this fire some more. Talk shit. Uh, ooh, bonfire butterflies. Excellent. Yes. Butterflies. Yes. The butterflies for Blobby. Oh yeah, we have to deliver that letter while we're here as well, don't we? Oh yeah, that's right. We're the postal service today. Oh, don't fuck with the postal service. No, they've got a hard enough job. They don't need it making make it worse. <laughs> uh. Get out of here. Uh oh, fat rolling. Why am I fat rolling? I mean, you're Mr. Blobby, so that's kind of self-explanatory. That's a good point. And you may find yourself fat rolling with Mr. Blobby. And you may say to yourself, how did I get here? <coughs> letting the fat roll down, let the Blobby hold him down, letting the fat roll down. <coughs> Blobby's rolling over here, into the blue again. After the Blobby's gone. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Glad you know the song of my people. Same as it ever was. <laughs> Same as it ever was. I'm here to chew bubblegum and fat roll, and I'm legally not allowed to have any more bubblegum. This is not my beautiful fat roll. This is not my beautiful <laughs> cast. <laughs> uh, one of these days, we're just going to like, have someone... Do the music and just do like a full version. 
No, I'd love, I'd love just to do a full version of like I was doing. Um, I've forgotten the damn title of the song, but you know the Talking Heads one. Okay, like no. that's pr it's probably the easiest song to do because it's all talk singing. Ah, oh, fair. I picked up a big ass torch, but oh, I don't shit. need it because I've got a lantern. That's okay. You can just take it with you for the story. People be like, where'd you get that big ass torch? And you'd be like, don't ask questions. They pulled it up, Mr. Blobby's prison wallet. <clears throat> Mr. Blobby's prison wallet. <laughs> <laughs> got any smokes in there, Bobby? Oh, uh, you'll never find out unless you check. <laughs> oh god, it's just filled with grape jello. A few moments later. I, br I dropped it. I dropped out because there was a grey seat. Wee. Did you touch it? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, hello. There's Wee. stuff over here. Okay, apparently. So the secret apartment. <clears throat> to Blobby's penthouse. Oh, yeah. No, this this looks um, dangerous. Good. To danger. Ooh. Yeah, there's a thing. Also, oh, there's yeah. um, the man in the iron mask over there. And a testicle. Get out of here, testicle. We cured your cancer on episode one. Uh, we didn't cure it. We wasted it out. There's a difference. I mean, that's one of the cures. <laughs> uh, the overcure is fighting to a draw. Yeah, that'll do it, too. Oh, rest in peace, Norm MacDonald. Oh, no. Tiny pigeon man. Oh, just just on his headstone. I didn't even know he was sick. <laughs> Norm MacDonald, the only man to survive a punch from Mike Tyson. Oh, my God. Have you, have you seen the episodes of the show where he gets Tyson on? No. Oh, does he just get punched by him? Yeah, like Tyson keeps punching him and, and challenging him to say the N word. Stay, stay, stay fucking stay, hunky. Oh my god, no, Norm, don't. It's a trap. Tyson doesn't know the, the danger of the power he wields. Sometimes I think we forget that's Mike fucking Tyson. Oh shit. <laughs> He's bitten ears off. He'll definitely bite fingers off. Yep. Do, 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 Turnish golden sunflower, okay. Fuck yeah. That was what we wanted, right? That's why we came here? I have no idea why we're in this castle anymore. Ooh, a beetle. Full health, baby. Oh, because we're the postal service. We gotta deliver a letter. Yeah, is there a secret wall here that I'm missing? Nah. Uh, we just took a, like, fork in the path. I feel like this should be an entrance to that fucking tower. That's what I was gonna say. Going postal. You seen going yeah. postal yet? I'm familiar with it, but I haven't seen it. I mean, you should read the book, honestly, but the film's great. Okay, I didn't know there was a book. Just like the lengths the fucking postal service will go to to deliver the mail. I mean, they're dedicated to their job. Mm. Fuck. I just love the fact mm. they have a subplot about a fucking vampire who kills postal workers. Oh my god, I bet that's real too, shit. It's so fucking funny, though, because it's a parody of stamp collecting, but instead it's a vampire who collects Ted Postmasters. Oh my god, is he vamp collecting? Oh god, that's beautiful. Why did they not think of that? Sam would be proud. I found a whip. Hang on a second. It's Castlevania, baby. Let's fucking go for it. Let's get this fucking bread. This wall chicken. Come over here. Oh. Die, Blobby. You don't belong in this world. Bobby belongs to every world. <laughs> uh, what is a blob? A miserable <laughs> little pile of secrets. <laughs> what boss would Blobby most likely be? You just start would fucking levitating then! <laughs> yeah, that's my secret skill. I'm always levitating. Oh, that whip does it. Fuck all damage. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you haven't leveled it up, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I completely forgot that was a thing I need to do. Just like smacking him with a toothbrush. 
being like, why isn't this doing any damage? Ah, you must be the Belmont. <laughs> Just <laughs> dax him across the room. Get out of here. Oh, that's still the best fucking scene from that episode. Second best scene. You watch Robot Chicken, right? Yeah, occasionally. Do you remember the one where he just kept, like, whipping Dracula on the dick? Yes. Ah, oh, that's what I always think of. No, not the tip. Oh, God damn it! It's a legit strategy for him on the Castlevanias, though. Oh boy, who's on the other side of this? It's your mother! Whoa. It's the fucking Wolfman. Get out of here, Wolfman. Where's Frankenstein? Oh, you delegate to a mini boss, Wolfman. Get out of here. And Bobby, once again, just fucking everything. Be gone, Wolfman. Great sword. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, I shall call it the Fulkerage. You shall call it too heavy to wield at the moment. Yeah, I need to work on that. I think I'll just stick to the fucking Reza Repulsa cosplay for now. Twelve seconds later. Sam just posts the Game of Thrones sword looks like something out of Kingdom Hearts. <clears throat> I mean That's fair. He's not wrong. Oh now I want a crossover. Jon Snow just smoldering like he does, and then Mickey's like Oh Your family's dead. No no Mickey's like, Haha, oh, it's not Stark's bastard. Uh huh. We own the series now. Oh, your last name is Mouth now. Oh, and then Jon Snow was shipped off to Mauschwitz. Mauschwitz, oh my god. That's that book, isn't it, Mouse? I mean, yeah, but like, that was actually what Disney employees called Disneyland at one point. Because of the shit working conditions. Is there a secret in this area, by the way? Nah, just the grace. Did you touch it? Yeah, who the fuck am I delivering this letter to, then? Warp back to the front. To yep. the castle, more and left. Yeah, um, kid did like terrible working conditions back in like the sixties. That like employees used to refer to Disneyland Florida as Mauschwitz, and then the staff passed a memo around saying, "Knock that shit off, or we're gonna start firing people." So they started referring to it as Dog Halt, oh my God. which was another concentration camp. Don't they have a thing where, like, if somebody dies in the park, you have to take the body, like, outside the grounds before you let, like, the medical team get to them so that nobody's technically dies? Yeah, they're literally, so it doesn't ruin the illusion of the park. Yeah, something like that. C come down, come down the steps with Uncle Soap. Put, put the sign down over here. <laughs> Can't see you so good. Come in, come in closer. Come, come, come over here and put the sign down. Ignore the smell. It's gazpacho. And then give me some of those Reese's hard mints. No, oh, they're mine, Uncle. Give me, give me some of them Werther's Originals Bob. Okay, yeah, I've got plenty of those. You can have them. It, it's Bob's Jewish grandfather, Burb. Oh, no, not Burb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay you to make that an actual thing. Just like a wrinkly old borb. It's burb. Clara's Jewish grandfather. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Borbowitz. It just looks like Bob, but wrinkles. And with like a cane and a fess. <laughs> like just, just, <laughs> just Borb, but Grunkle Stan, basically. Oh my god. Uncle Stan's too badass to be like the old Jewish character. <laughs> come, come on. Even though Grunkle Stan's character is, like, comprised half of Jewish stereotypes. Oh, does it really? I might not be familiar with all the Jewish stereotypes then. <laughs> Kit Lady's built up in season one as being, like, a really stingy money grubber. And then later on they turn on its head where it's, like, actually saving up. Because the only way he can save his brother. Oh, that's fair. Interesting. I like how they sort of implied that he and the old lady from Owl House have had a thing. Also, then that it takes place in the same universe as Rick and Morty. Oh, that's right, because of the little portal. I remember that. Hasn't Bill Cipher been in The Simpsons? Yes. 
is um, yeah. one of Loki's identities. That's beautiful. Spy crypto suckers! I haven't bothered to look yet, but like I imagine there's probably a bill cipher hidden in an inside job. It wouldn't fucking surprise me. It Consi really wouldn't surprise me either. Because the woman who made that worked on Gravity Falls. Oh shit, did she really? I mean, the animation was kind of a dead giveaway. Yeah, alright, I can see it. I hope they make more uh, Inside Job. Honestly, I hope they make more Gravity Falls, but I seriously doubt they will. Honestly, the story rounds off pretty nicely after, t after two seasons anyway, though. Yeah, that's true. I don't feel like we're missing anything. I just feel like there's other stuff I want to know. I want to know about, like, the other dimensions and stuff. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, so here... And then we come here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll talk to all these nice people, having a little fight. Knock the bird down, apparently. Oh, he's fallen all the way down. That's... Very useful. Get out of the up, bird. Just running around and looting corpses mid battle. <clears throat> I challenge thee to a duel. Hold on, this guy's got something in his pockets. I'm a skilled corpse loser. Alas, five sickles and a dog bomb. What's up, old dude? <laughs> I'm Edgar, the warden of this castle. I fucked up a bit. Right, where does this guy's side quest go? Kazarina's dad? Yeah, so he goes and finds her, and he's like, oh shit. So what, should we just teleport back out there, or is there anything else to loot in the castle? I don't think there's anything else to loot. I think we got everything. Create, like, a temporal anomaly. No, you fool, you've crossed the streams and summoned two blobbies. It's too much blob for one world. Mr. Mr. Bobby's evil twin, Blibby. Blibby. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling friends, but they get attacked by Mr. Bobby. That seems like it would be in line with what's going on with them. Oh, God. They, they make things so scary. I don't want to see them do a Mr. Bobby. That'd be horrifying. I think we should cut our losses and leave him. <laughs> uh, this guy's a lost cause. Right, I'm off to the impossible Great Bridge. I'll see you there. I just love the fucking filter when Desmond's like, I'm gonna fucking shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's about to make me laugh. Or I could shoot myself and make you watch. That's really good. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I love his mom, where she's like real chill and then just like, Desmond! The Smiley Friends are here! <laughs> <laughs> okay, put your side down next to the piss rock. Is it broken for you? Probably, it keeps fucking doing this every time we train you multiplayer. Personally, I blame Uncle Burb. Yeah, that's fine. He's he's done enough damage to the world. Come, come, come over here. Come, come over here and help me cook pasta. Don't want to cook pies anymore, Uncle. I've got to go out to the store and get some Google Play cards to pay mm. off the surgery money. Oh, your house smells like regret. I don't want to be here. Don't, don't abandon me. I have a crippling gambling debt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, I'm going to put on smiling friends for you, Uncle. Just sit down and enjoy yourself. I sold my neighbor's kidneys on the black market, and now I need you to help me extract them. Okay, yeah, oh, don't... Oh shit, don't what was that? Tell anybody that, Uncle. Fucking oh, dead. Let me take the horse across the bridge first. <laughs> 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 Fucking leg it. Fucking trebuchet! Fucking trebuchet! Get off the horse! <clears throat> oh. Yeah, I'll just meet me by the trebuchet and then put your sign down. 
I just fuck these knights up in the meantime. I see. This okay. is the part where I discover that you don't know what a fucking trebuchet is, isn't it? I don't know what a trebuchet is. It's the thing that you wash your ditches in, right? I fucking died again. <laughs> Maybe by the trebuchet anyway. <laughs> no, no, that's just that's just saying poor. This is why your uncle's poor. He's putting all his dishes in a trebuchet. <laughs> I put all of my dishes into the trebuchet with the water. And I launched them at the neighbors. Fuck the neighbors. My friend Sal gave me this gravy boat back in the 50s. I hate him. I hate him, and it's worthless to me at the pawn shop. I killed him and I fucked his wife on his grave. Oh shit, I haven't had the chance to use the frog calling finger remedy. Uh, I'm running from people. It's fine. No, no! <laughs> Death came for soup. Get the fuck in here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, crashed. No. Well, <laughs> a few moments later. God damn it, Bobby. You crashed the dishes again. Now we'll have to eat dinner out of his shoe. Out of an old frisbee I found. The park. Bob, get, get over here and put, put Cheerios into your grandfather's shoe. No, they're my Cheerios, Grandfather. When did you become my grandfather? I thought you were my uncle. I've got the Alzheimer's. <laughs> Who am I? Oh, am I even fair. related to this guy? <laughs> God, I hope not. T t take your fucking uncle back to the retirement home. Or Clara's basement, whichever comes first. That's, it's the same place. She just runs a retirement home out of her basement. <laughs> mm, fresh meat for the pot. <laughs> That's not fresh meat. It's a retirement home. <laughs> That's the opposite of fresh meat. Yeah, you make a solid point there. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't get the job at Cheerios. But Bob, come over here and eat from me. Like, oh. Uncle Burbs just, like, pouring Cheerios all over his face. Stop it. That's not how you eat it, Uncle. Stop it. Eat, eat from me, Burbs. This is why you're not allowed in the supermarket anymore. <laughs> oh, goddammit. <laughs> I spawned in and immediately sent me home. Oh, just like going to school. Stop being rude to all these mans. All these mans that are tougher than you. Now you're placing the food chain. No, they're French. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck the French. A historically aggressive people. <laughs> His mother smells of elderberries. Oh, you can't say that anymore. From a different time. Oh, fucks. <laughs> so join us next week for a very special stream where Borb says the ad words. No. <laughs> No! Not again! <laughs> I learned my lesson the first time. What do you think it would take to get us in a stream with two mods? I have no idea. I am sorry. I'm doing my best at hiding, Captain. Oh yeah, no one will suspect this random barrel of swords by the withered tree. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. Right, fuck it, let's just sneak in like this then. Barrel buddies on an adventure. I moved too fast and I fucked it up. Lead the way, Barrel Commander. <laughs> uh, I've got to say, the graphics on Prop Hunt have improved massively. <clears throat> They'll never pick a fight with a barrel that has four swords and a spear in it. Oh, uh, it's a halberd. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trebuchet. I told you already. No, you fool, that's a trebuchet. No, that's just a pile of bones on the ground. Okay, please don't beat me in the face of a, of a fucking crossbow bolt. <laughs> I think it's working. Yes, yes. They'll never expect it. <laughs> I oh no! Oh, oh no. fuck, no, it didn't work. It was working until it stopped. Oh, just like trying to pay off my taxes. <laughs> Bobby, I'll steal everything off. <laughs> Take from them everything. Leave them nothing. 
Bobby, help, I'm stuck in a rock. Oh no, there we go, it clipped me out. <laughs> I got stuck in a rock. This, this rock is better at the game than I am. Oh! Yeah, I told you there was a giant. I thought you were being metaphorical. Yeah, the metaphorical giant, you know, the great sadness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, big old twisty boy. Uh, he's dead now. Oh, he's dead, Jim. Can we get in here? No. Probably have to find a side entrance. Have we got anything? No, that's where we came from. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, hello. Twelve seconds later. God damn it, Blobby. Stop fucking the artillery. <laughs> you can't interact with him. I'm just being a liar. I was worried you weren't going to stick that landing, then, if I'm honest. <laughs> you know what? If I'm honest, I kind of was too. <laughs> See if this works out. Wee. <laughs> oh, hello. Yep, yep. The steps over here. And oh, bats. Hey. Okay. Shazam! Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Magic missile. Magic. Magic missile. Magic missile. Oh While we're on the topic of like TV shows, do you ever watch Ugly Americans? No. Oh my god, it was such a good show. I don't watch a lot of TV anymore. Like regular TV. We're gonna change that. I'm gonna break both kneecaps and then you're gonna be sitting at home. You can watch plenty of TV. Not again. <clears throat> oh, Blobby. Oh, she, she almost, almost went over a cliff face. <laughs> 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 well... Guess what? Blobby didn't make it. <laughs> Two hours later. Oh, uh, Elden Ring is a fucking stealth game when I play it. Murdered by a barrel, I was. I love how everyone just goes to Cockney. Even, <laughs> even Sam just goes straight to Cockney. Such a nuance to some of the other voices that I just can't do very well. But with Cockney, it's just like, how terrible can you do this voice? I'm a Brit in Paris. Oh, it's Tuesday, isn't it? On the tube. Gotta get on the tube to get to the underground and put the fucking birds in their cage. Et me beans and toast, by the Queen. Oh, just go farther. Do you know what Nemesis means? <laughs> a righteous infliction of divine retribution manifested by an honorable me. Oh my god, no. If everybody was bricked up, the country would never be fucked with. <laughs> you stealth him, Bobby. You fucking failed. I stealthed him until I hit him. <laughs> oh, that guy's facing forward. Just go for him. You there, sir? You heard of Blobby? Excuse me, sir, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Saviour, Rohan Kushibe? <coughs> Blubbert G. Blubbers? No, the red oh, main... The, oh, every fucking pair of gauntlets is shit compared to the ones I've got on now. <coughs> it's gorgeous. I'll meet you down there. Good. Good door. Let's see. So you dropped to the bottom of a ladder. So you drop at the bottom of the ladder with the loose and dung eater. Oh no, not the loose and dung eater. It's the loose and dung eater, Chim Chimney Mary Poppins. <laughs> 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 uh, I want to go to the alternate universe where Elden Ring is exactly the same, but the dung eaters played by Nick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You just name yourself Dick Van Dyke, but whenever somebody tries to summon you, your name is just all stars, all asterisks. Uh, he's not even British, that's the funniest part, like, because he's American, the Cockney accent from Mary Poppins was just badly put on. Oh, that sounds right. And yet it's like, one of the most memorable Cockney accents. So if we let this guy imitate our language, do you think that this country's just going to be making fun of it forever? No, no, that can't be right. <laughs> Where'd you go? Sorry, I saw a dung beetle and had to go and murderize it. 
Oh, uh, you know what? That's fair. That sounds right. Oh, there's two big ass lions. No, they're just regular cats. They're good boys. Oh god, this better not kill me if I aggro it. Oh, it will. <laughs> I'm gonna go in this door. Ah, right. You should have. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way, Bloppy! <laughs> <laughs> Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Oh. Smithing stone level 4. Nope, still the wrong one. Kill the other one, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Commander, where are our big ass lions? I don't know, some dude covered in nodules just ran in and fucking killed them all. <laughs> this is great, just having you as my fucking attack dog. <sighs> <laughs> you should switch to like a spellcaster build then. Just like hang back and like pummel them with spells. I mean, probably that'd be smart, but I don't want to. <laughs> like, That's fine. I want to play this as fake head as possible. The chat's just got off into a tangent about discussing Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> discussing if he's cockney or not. Jeremy Clarkson? No, but his hands sure are. He sells potatoes on a filing cabinet in the road as a novelty. Oh, so he's Irish. Because cause, um, he didn't have his farm shop set up in time, so he just like put them in a filing cabinet at the side of the road. But he still does it even though he has the farm shop and it's like... This man is like five levels of galaxy brain or above the rest of us. Clarkson's filing cabinet, home to everything that you probably shouldn't eat. It's Clarkson's filing cabinet, it's home to your nightmares, governor. Oh, uh, we get we gave Clarkson the filing cabinet, he stuck Mr. Blobby in it. <coughs> We're no longer allowed near the local orphanage. You know, open the drawer, there's like a blobby stuffed in the drawer. He just slowly inflates until he <laughs> assumes full height. Blah, 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 blah. And then when it's closed up, just sitting in the corner, you just hear a like. <laughs> and occasionally, the cabinet like rattles and vibrates. <laughs> <laughs> As Mr. Yeah. Floppy tries to escape. I'm going over here before I go through the fog drawer. I just want to see what's up these steps. Oh, fuck. I'm on my. Ah. Why do I keep running headfirst into these situations? Didn't you just say you wanted to play it as like thick-headed as possible? Yeah, not You're just that. staying in character. <laughs> not that fake, has it though? <laughs> Mostly, I've just been trying to play the game as an abject coward. If I'm honest, it's going well so far. I think I saw a streamer doing like a pacifist run. Oh shit! Where, like, the only damage he does with the uh, summons a, and stuff. And a giant wheelchair. No, not the giant wheelchair. You can't call him <laughs> anymore. It's not cool. <laughs> Why? It's the words in Bible translations. There's a lot of words in the Bible you probably shouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then Jesus <laughs> the. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus said the N word. No, Jesus, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, Jesus was Middle Eastern, though, so he got some word privileges. Fuck I mean, I'm not the judge of, like, who gets it, but I feel you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Like, we just end up in the national news for causing the next schism of the Catholic Church. <laughs> like, oh, trying to figure out if Jesus gets the N word pass or not. My God. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, Borb, that's why Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He was trying to buy the N word pass. Oh no, Judas, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the people, like, believe whatever you want to believe. Uh, but the people that are like, oh yeah, he was like white and blonde. Like, really? In the Middle East? Oh no, I fell off the bridge! He heard me talking smart about Jesus. <laughs> So, I'm genuinely sorry. <laughs> like, just the greatest metal image of, like, the last supper, but it's Jesus sitting down with two mad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I wonder if that's how you can, like, entice him to come on the show. Just to be like, listen to, man, we built this long ass table, and we have an idea. <laughs> Soup dresses up as Jesus. <laughs> Actually, no, what, what I'd do, genuinely, I'd I hire Kudakaris is what I'd do. 
Does he make a good Jesus? Yeah, he does an entire video where he's just in character as Jesus playing Jesus games. Blobby, where the fuck are you? Please kill this man. Blobby, blobby, blobby. Stop poking me with your flaming stick, sir. On Tuesday, cut that out. Mm, it's flaming stick Tuesday, Blobby. A pig and a poke. Pig and a poke for Blobby on a Tuesday. It was the heat of the moment. Telling you how to poke Blobby. Heat of the moment. Spiffing stone six. Fuck! That's the one you needed, right? No! I needed five! I'm taking the fast way down! Wee! Nope. Should we drop right, out and get it? Grace. Have you. Oh, fuck. I, uh, let me drop my voice for a rupture in my throat. <laughs> right. <laughs> do you want to drop out and cut with this grace and then we'll just, like, heal off? Yeah, give me a sec. Let's see. Oh, Heavy is the has the where's the blob? Oh my god, I hope that kills me soon so I don't have to listen to that. <laughs> oh no, wait, I take it back. I'm definitely going to hell, and I'm going to have to listen to that forever. <laughs> you got to hell, and it's just an endless loop of me doing the fucking sausage song from da from, from Freddy Got Fingers. And I'm like, how did you get that much audio from that? And they're like, it's hell. It's like, ah. Oh. Oh, no, it's just a 15 second loop. Bob, would you like some sausage? Bob, would you like some sausages? Bob, would you like some sausage? Sausages! Sausages! Uh, <laughs> regret! Regret! Well, you are just saw it on like a fucking It's a Small World After All, right? But every fucking puppet is Bernie Sanders. Oh no. The little teacups spinning around. Bobby, would you like some sausage? Bobby, would you like some oh. sausage? No! <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't drop. Okay. Are you dying? Y'all, did soup die? It's my stream now. Soup died, and Blobby owns the stream. Sorry, I almost choked on my... Sorry. Oh, uh, only almost. You're just jealous because I have all of the sausages. That's not why I'm... Oh, yeah, actually, that is why I'm jealous. Fuck, I didn't know that. Blobby wants sausage. <laughs> oh, it's another one of these fuckers? Okay. And he brought a friend. Oh, a crucible, mate. Okay. Isn't a crucible a thing that you burn magnesium in? Uh, yeah, I think so. Just like a big ass, like, pot that you stick shit in. <laughs> so he's the pot, mate? Yeah. Oh, okay, he's turning to a Kingdom Hearts boss. What the fuck? He's not allowed to fly, that's illegal. Crucibexness. Crucible, but it's spelled with an X. And then his real name is like Gerald or something. <laughs> Gerald, it's the Witcher. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, toss a coin to your Witcher, Blobby. Toss a coin to your boss, man. Toss a coin to your Blobby. Oh my god, how's it going in my ears? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am incredibly tone deaf when I go for high notes. <laughs> uh, go back that way and there should be a guy in a chair you can talk to. I don't think there's any more enemies back that way. Ah, smithing stone level 5, beautiful. I can level up my space, or is it the last? Fuck yeah. Yeah, sorry for the colossal amounts of air rape, though. No, you're good. Some people just don't know culture when they hear it. Oh. Some people just like to torture your board with high notes when they hear it. Ah! Mm -hmm. Fucking Kafka. Mm -hmm. He does kind of look like Kafka, doesn't he? That's right, we need to get up to the Star Scourge. 
So where are we going? I've took of touch of the guy. So this is the way to do it. Is he like letting you do anything? Showing you like cutscene or anything? He's saying have patience and wait for the stars to align. I don't know if the time of day affects it. It might just be like a certain amount of time in game. Because I was trying to look up how to proc it to start, and I didn't see anything definitive on like how to get it to go. Have you met Alexander yet? Yeah, I've met him by Sage Bridge. Okay, so you already met him and got him out of the hole? Alright, so we already did that, so that wasn't what we need. You've already done the Ranny stuff, or you've talked to her. You'll first need to activate the Grand Lift of Dactus. No, I don't think you have to do that, because I went and fought Radon before I ever messed with the lift. And I never got both halves until way after. Um, I guess I'll just go back in and front the castle some more then. Have you been to Gale Tunnel yet in Kaled? Like right where Kaled meets Limgrave? Uh, where would that be? Right where like the ground starts to turn red whenever you pull up your map. I don't think so. No, but you've got that shack right there. Go to the Rotview balcony. There's plenty interesting when Blobby is about. Oh, okay, you're just running straight off. Okay, hang on. Let me just um, put my lantern on. Lead the way, Blobs. Can we jump up here? Might not be able to. Oh, we did. Ha ha, blubby. Fuck. You got this. You got this. Jump, white man, jump. Uh, Whee. Success. Strength of the pink boy. <laughs> Ooh, graves. Hang on a second. Let me just go, Robin. Oh, fuck yeah. They're not using that shit anymore. Oh, oh, get out of here, trash bags. I think I've got everything right, up, shall we? Fuck yeah. Just taking vengeance on those sacks. Yeah, okay. Right here. Yeah, in this door. Yeah, you just gonna drop out. There we go. I yeah. shall meet you inside the tunnel. I'm making a blobby. I can't fret over every broken so whatever makes a blobby. <laughs> making a blobby can't fret over every traumatized child. <laughs> there we go. The mother of all blobbies. <laughs> <laughs> making the mother of entertainment here, Jack. Nano blobby, son. Oh god. Telling me there are miniature robot blobbies just walking around in people's bloodstream? Only blobbies. You're just describing hell again. Bobby, would you like some sausage? Oh, tentacle babies. Yes, my friends. But today you die. But why? It's just that day. Is Bobby related to Armstrong? Fuck no, Sam. <laughs> Fuck no. Don't even suggest that. A plague, a plague on both your houses, son. Blobstrong. Oh shit. Warpstrong. Oh, it's plus actually a um, hefty map health. Land octopus ovary, okay. There you go. Good job. That's the main thing we came to this tunnel for. Also, the samurai swords. Oh, uh, yeah, that too. Oh, there is one in here, isn't there? It's not the Raj one, though, so, um... Off we yeah, go, that's buddy. true. <clears throat> I think this one's, like, brown. That man was a miner. You can't fucking not... say that on stream. That's what you get done for. He's not a miner. He's a miner. Ah, oh, miner 49er. 
going what around. What did you do with soup today? Oh, we just went into a cave in the ground and, you know, killed some miners. The younglings are aching. <laughs> oh, Elden Ring, but it's, but it's prequel memes. <clears throat> Oh, right, I get it now, because they're all red main knights. Took a minute for the other penny to drop there. What about it? Well, because that's why it's the red main festival that gets started in this cave, according to you. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, his faction is the red mains. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and we're Radon. In here beating up the red mains. We are. I don't know if it's because we're beating them up that would start the festival. I think it's because you talk to the guy on the other side of this door. They're not even real gingers. <laughs> oh, I like Tim Minchin's song about being ginger. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he said that he's setting off to the festival. The festival, okay, the, the festival, the festival. Ah, the tastical, the tastical festival. Help me, the quaaludes are setting. Oh no, sleepy time soup. I've got the numb tongue. <laughs> There's an exit over there, right. but I don't think that's what I want. So let me just loop back around to you. Yeah. I'm like a fucking squirrel. I've got to run around and. Explore all the nooks and crannies. Thank goodness she opens the door so fucking slow. Ah, magma worm. Us. How do people keep fucking this up? That's not a worm. The wings have to be the hands for it to be a worm. Look, words are just sounds. Honestly, that was one of the things that annoyed me at Game of Thrones. Was that the they... words or sounds? No, that they had like they kept calling them dragons, even though they were very fucking clearly worms. Oh yeah, that's fair. It's like this is supposed to be written by professionals, for fuck's sake. George R. R. Martin, a professional? Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, he made this. Uh, he helped. That's certainly something. <laughs> have, you, have you seen that meme where it's like the picture of George R. R. Martin's review of Elden Ring? And then it's just like a picture of George R. R. Martin strangling George R. 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 Martin? No, I haven't. Are his hands large enough to get around that meaty neck of his? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. There we go. Get out of here, worm. Mmm, moon veil. Get yourself a fancy katana. Oh, was this the moon veil one? Oh, hell yeah. Which one are you using? Uh, rivers of blood. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll try it, moon veil. Moon veil's another one that, like, people are like, oh yeah, that's a good one. It got nerfed, but it's still pretty powerful. <laughs> well, while you were mashing around with Mr. Blobby, I was studying the eloquent arts of the samurai swords. <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Uh, Nothing personnel, blob. Were it not for the laws of the land, I would have slaughtered you already. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look at your map and go back to the castle we were in. Chamber outside the plaza. Twelve seconds later. God damn it! Soup broke Elden Ring, everybody. That's it. The series is done. Mm -hmm. Then I'll do some research. Off stream, see if I can find like what proxim. I guess we just have to wind that for now, cause um, ah, uh, it vexes me. It vexes me so bored. Vexes me. Yeah, I think that's enough for one day. Though we'll um, see you next time. Peace, everybody.